Hey guys, this is a video in my TI-84 Plus CE graphing calculator tutorial series. In this video, I'm going to show you how to evaluate hyperbolic trigonometric functions and inverse hyperbolic trigonometric functions on the TI-84 Plus CE. Without further ado, let's get to it. First, I'm going to find the hyperbolic sine of natural log of 2. In order to access the hyperbolic trigonometric functions and the inverse hyperbolic trigonometric functions, you have to go to the catalog. So press second and then the zero button to access the catalog and then uh, you're taken to the catalog. Notice this little uh, alpha symbol appears in the top right corner. This means you can type in the first letter of the option you want. I'm going to press uh, the natural log button for S uh, because I want cinch and then uh, the menu I'm taking to this part of the menu and I'll arrow down until I get to cinch and finally I see cinch and once the cursor is next to cinch I'm going to just press enter and then I'm taking back to the a computation screen and on the inside I'm going to type in natural log of 2 so natural log uh, 2 and then close both of these parentheses so parenthesis and parenthesis the entry looks like this and press enter and I get the answer as 0 0.75 if I wanted the answer to be uh, in fraction form since uh, this will be a perfect uh, fraction uh, we can do uh, do this so I'm going to just select uh, the previous entry and then press enter so it looks like this now and then I'm going to press the math button and select the fraction option so just press enter so the entry looks like this now and all this is going to do is give me the answer in fraction form if possible and in this case we know it's possible so press enter and we get the answer as 3 4th it's probably good to note that it doesn't matter which trigonometric mode you're in when doing hyperbolic uh, and inverse hyperbolic trigonometric calculations for this uh, previous for these previous calculations I was in degree mode but I'm going to go ahead and change that to radian mode uh, so press mode and then arrow down until the cursor is on radian and then press enter and now I'm in radian mode so I'm just going to press second in the mode button to quit and I'm going to redo the calculation so the entry looks like this just as before and press enter I get the exact same answer now let's do inverse uh, cinch uh, of 0 0.75 so once again I'm going to go to the catalog so press second and then uh, 0 to go to the catalog and this time I'm also going to press the natural log button to uh, for s so I can find inverse cinch so I can go down until I can go down until I find uh, inverse cinch which is here and then once the cursor is next to inverse cinch just press enter and then I'm taking back to this screen and on the inside I'm just going to type in uh, 0 0.75 and then close the parentheses so the entry looks like this and just press enter and I get the answer as approximately 0 0.693 which is a natural log of 2. If you wanted to do cosh and inverse cosh it would be done in a quite similar fashion so just go to the catalog second and then 0 and instead of a natural log you would this time press uh, the program button to, for the C and that takes you two options starting with C and then arrow down until you see cosh see here is cosh and inverse cosh and you do it the exact same way as we did cinch and inverse cinch 
I hope this video helps in some way. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section and I'll try my best to help. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Check out other videos on my channel, especially the graphing and scientific calculator tutorial series. Until next time, take care guys.